Hello again, this is Janimation's Team Fortress 2 Mapping Tutorial, Part 2, and this time I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic respawn room. Uh, I'll be showing you how to make one for the red team uh, first. So, basically, for your first map you'll want to have an enclosed space with a door, which I showed you how to make in my first tutorial, so the people can get out of their respawn room. And you go inside the respawn room, you click on the entity tool, and you make an entity by clicking on the ground. And then go to your selection tool and double click to bring up the entity's properties. And you want to make sure that the class of the entity is info underscore player underscore team spawn. Uh, you don't really need to name it. Uh, you want to set the team to what team you want this respawn room to belong to. So in this case, red. Uh, and you can leave all the other stuff blank. Hit apply and cancel. Just drag the person to a place where you want uh, it to be. This is going to be a respawn point for... Um, so when people on the red team spawn, when they join the game, or after they die when they respawn, they'll appear right wherever you stick these things. Okay, so... Yeah, just put this guy somewhere uh, in your respawn room at ground level. He should already be at, at ground level, but just stick him somewhere. Um, so, just stick him somewhere. And then what you want to do is you want to hold shift and then click and drag him to make copies of him and you need a total of 16 copies. Because there are 16 people on a team, and if you don't give uh, a team enough places to respawn, they'll be respawning inside of each other, which is not what you want. Yeah, so you have the 16 points where uh, the red team people will be respawning. So now in order to make this into a respawn room, you need to make you need to go to the block tool and you need to make a block that is as big as the hollow part of the room. So drag it to that corner and drag it from the ceiling to the floor. And then and then you hit enter and if you go inside the wall you'll be able to see the texture and I have that is not the texture I want so you need to go find the tools uh, the tools trigger texture this one tools slash tools trigger and hit apply and then you want to have you want to select the box and hit Control T, and that'll make it into a brush entity. And then for the class, you do Funk underscore Respawn Room like that, and name it Red Respawn Room. Set the team to red and you're good. So this, what the respawn room entity does is it makes it so if a player on the red team is inside this box, uh, they will be able to switch classes without dying and uh, yeah I think that's all it does. You're just able to switch classes without dying. So then there's one last thing you need to do 
uh, you have to go to your door to to the room and here you actually need to make the door a little yeah you need to have space in front of the door so you can just scoot it back like scoot the door back into the uh, wall a little bit into the hole so it's uh, not flush with the wall outside so then you click in the 2D view and you shift drag it to duplicate it so now you have two doors partially inside each other click on the outermost door and change it to a funk respawn room visualizer and apply and then it does not need a name but you need to set the associated respawn room to the red respawn room and what this is going to do well first you need to change the um, the texture to overlays no entry so wait just a second okay so go to overlays slash no underscore entry and hit apply and so yeah you can see it now and it looks like a bunch of circles with lines through it. What you want to do is just hit fit, or yeah, hit fit in the texture window. And so now there is a circle with a cross through it over the door, and that will only be visible to enemies, and it will keep them from being able to open the the red respawn door if they're on blue team so it'll keep them off the door so they can't trigger it and yeah so that's basically how you make a respawn room uh, make sure to tune in next time see ya